I'm Steven Sanders, and this is your Daily Energy Report. Energy efficiency doesn't have to be a complex subject or just for big companies to achieve. Now with Energy Fit, the new campaign by Florida Power & Light Company, customers can have a personalized energy savings plan. A detailed analysis of clients' homes' energy use as well as recommendations and tips for a better use of energy. How it works? Easy. Residential customers who complete the new and friendly online home energy survey by September 30th will be entered to win a $5,000 Energy Fit makeover for their home. With efforts like Energy Fit, the public have the opportunity to learn and implement simple changes that save money and at the same time contribute to the energy industry's sustainability. For instance, Sandra Ohalis, an FPL energy expert featured in the campaign, explains that turning the thermostat up by one degree can provide enough savings in one month to be able to power your home for one day, your refrigerator for 29 days, or your 50-inch TV for 40 days. The province of Zhejiang in China will be benefited with an additional 575 megawatts of electricity. GE will be supplying 5-frame 6FA Eco-Imagination qualified gas turbines to three power plants. The 6FA are designed for high performance and low emissions. With an efficiency level of 80% compared to the 30% in a typical coal-fired plant of similar size, the project will reduce environmental impact, increase energy use in the region, and improve economic development. Commercial operation will start in December 2012, and the primary fuel will be natural gas, provided by China's landmark West to East Pipeline 2. Phoenix Solar US has initiated the construction of a 33,600-panel solar park at Chattanooga, Tennessee at the Volkswagen plant making it the largest solar array in the state. With a total inversion of $30 million, the panels will provide 12.5% of the plant's energy. The solar park is part of the Volkswagen's initiative to protect the environment, and also helps to finalize the on-site renewable energy component of the German automaker's Platinum LEED certification. The park will be starting production at the end of the fall. Meyersk Drilling, a Danish company that supports global oil and gas production by providing drilling services, announced having entered Angola's deep water drilling market. This is the first step of their operations, one of the largest ultra-deep water oil reserves in the world. The company was awarded Super Rig of the Month and have been working over a month for Cambenda Gulf Oil Company Limited, local setup of Chevron Angola. Maersk Drilling has invested 4.5 billion U.S. dollars in new drilling rigs since 2011, and the new buildings will be added to one of the youngest and most modern offshore rig fleets in the world. I'm Stephen Sanders. For more in energy news and analysis, visit DailyEnergyReport.com.